we're moving okay to be competitive or if you wind the clock back six months probably a better way to say you're competitive in you know, majority of your games then it becomes frustrating because you haven't closed a few of them out so that's probably the right analogy to, to say it is a combination of two I think now we've got to illustrate that we've learned from that and we've got to maintain competitiveness but we've got to learn some of the mistakes that we've made when we haven't been able to close and see if we can get a few more wins along the way. Oh, I think they're a phenomenal side. I'm a huge admirer of what they've done, but I'm also a huge admirer of what they're doing right now as you know, European quarter-finalists. And they're able to maintain performances week in, week out. So yeah, they're, they're a genuine contender for the Premiership and therefore a serious threat for us to, to try and get a result against. I think he's recruited very well. And at the same time, grown, homegrown, talent such as Noel, Slade, Cowan, Dickey and Hill. So that combination has made him a very powerful club. Yeah, I think we look a different team when he's out there. I think the authority he's got, I think it settles people, he gives clear direction and I think, you know, that fifty minutes he was on, it's, you know, it's not a surprise that that's when we look more solid and I, you know, I'm pleased to have him back. He's a very influential person in the group and he's a great decision maker for a coach to have he's, he, you know, he thinks about the game very similar to, to us and he's empowered to then imp, uh, impose that on, on the opposition and you can see from the weekend he settles people around him even with a young group so we always had a target of getting him 50 minutes under his belt so he's coming into this feeling much better